You know, there's a lot of video games that make me happy, like Sonic Adventure and Super Mario 64 and Mega Man Legends and Digimon World. The list goes on. But you know what I try to think to myself? I'm missing something here. And then it hit me. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. You know, those arcade-like skateboarding games for the PlayStation 1 and N64. The first Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was almost revolutionary. It had pretty deep original gameplay, really nice graphics for the time, and probably one of the best soundtracks in its series. It was full of ska and all this rockin' shit from the 90s. You know, the kind of stuff that made you feel like a rebel. But you know, the first game wasn't what molded it into what we know today. The real MVP was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. With a new soundtrack, new levels, manuals, a brand spanking new park editor, more than 60 pre-made levels for you to scroll around in on free skate mode, everything seemed perfect for a small franchise. They were kicking ass, they were kicking you around, they were kicking out games every few years, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, 4, all came out, they were really great. But then, then? Came Tony Hawk's Underground for the PS2, the Xbox, the GameCube, the PC, and oh my god, it really was a fucking experience. And it gave you some of the other games in the series didn't. Freedom. You were given the option to create your own character, create your own levels, play a classic mode that plays a previous entry, so it was like you had a whole nother game, and you could walk around without your board, and there's a whole new story mode that's about your custom skater going from rags to riches, which I thought was pretty cool at the time. The whole story mode was pretty cool, but it was a little, you know, sometimes a little cringy. But it was really, it had a lot of nice moments, and you had to skate around. You had a best friend that was kind of a douche named Eric Sparrows. Eric Sparrows. We're not going to talk about him, though. Not today. Now, after Tony Hawk's Underground success, we had a few more of these games, like Underground 2, which is kind of like Jackass, but it wasn't half bad, and it really made the gameplay a lot better, it had a lot of funny moments. I mean, you could play as fucking Ben Franklin, and then we got American Wasteland, which is my personal favorite, because you got to cause anarchy and destruction and build a skate ranch owned by a runaway criminal slash pro skater named Iggy Van Zandt. It's not that memorable, but it felt like the longest game in the series, with tons more content, a lot of off-board missions. Everything after American Wasteland, though, was kind of a flop and not very memorable at all. I mean, we got a few shovelwares and a few needless gimmick controllers. Ugh, it was kind of, there was kind of a pause in the series after. About five years later, it was announced that the Birdman was finally returning to the video game world. I was excited. My friends were excited. Tons of people were so fucking excited for this. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD. That was fucking trash. I'm not wasting time downloading any footage or talking about it. It's just a disgrace. I'm not gonna turn on my PS3 and capture footage or nothing. I'm not downloading footage I find on the internet. Just no. So after that, everyone lost hope in the franchise completely, and for some reason decided to pull a Sega and just try one more time to fix what they messed up on, and in return. In return, we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Everyone felt hopeful. One last shred of hope for this series couldn't hurt, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. With Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, what we got was inexcusable. It's an unfinished mess that makes Ghost Simulator look like a fully functional AAA title. How could they fuck up Tony Hawk so badly? How can you get a universally loved arcade-like game and turn it into a nearly unplayable floaty mess? Either you're randomly bailing after trying to grind on a clearly grindable object, falling through the ground, flopping around like fucking Raggedy Andy, and it, 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 the game was released, and it received a huge 7 gigabyte update claiming it fixes its bugs, but you guessed it, it still plays like shit. No amount of free DLC could repair this broken mess of a game, I wouldn't even call it a game. I mean, I, I, I call it a game with quotations after the word, and I might also want to remind you that Lil Wayne was a fucking DLC up. character. Lil Wayne! What the hell? Now, I know what you're all thinking. But Frankie, it's a new Tony Hawk game, you gotta deal with it, you know? But, you know what? No. If you have any thoughts of buying Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, listen to this fat kid on the internet right here, and flush it down the toilet. Because I'm about to show you what's my go-to game when I feel like getting my Tony Hawk on. It's a fan mod of Underground 2 for PC. 
called Thug Pro. Thug Pro is a compilation of Tony Hawk 1 through American Wasteland and has some fan favorite custom levels built in. It's got a character creator, a park editor, a free skate, and an online mode to let you skate around with your buds. If you're looking for a true, gnarly Tony Hawk Pro Skater experience, download, go download Fug Pro. That's all you need. You'll thank me later. Now, I know it's been a while, and this isn't exactly fucking quality. This is what you gotta deal with. This is me. This is, these are my videos. And expect some more soon. I'm sorry it took so long to get this out. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Rate, comment, subscribe. Send me death threats in the comments below. Fucking go for it. I know I'm a fat piece of shit, but deal with it, you know? I'm out, I'm out here making videos for you, and, like, I'm making videos. I'm making some not really funny stuff, but it's, like, it's okay stuff. Alright, see you guys next time.